In the previous videos, we have discussed about steps of designing the pre-stressing members. Among those, there is a step for us to propose a sections and determine its geometrical property. In this slide, the steps to determine the geometrical property of the sections are shown. The geometrical properties of the section include the area of the cross sections, the centroid of the cross sectional area, the second moment of inertia, and also the section modulus. All these can be calculated by tabulating a table as shown here. You know that a typical pre-stressed concrete member may not necessarily to be square and rectangular. It can be made of complex shapes and this can be easily being calculated by using this table. The section A, B, C here represent different parts of the pre-stressing member. First, you need to determine the area of each part of the pre-stressing member. The summations of all the parts will be the total area of the cross sections of the member. For you to determine the centroid of the member, First, you need to determine the centroid of each part of the member based on a reference point. Normally, we use the reference points as the lowest positions of the member. You may also choose to use your reference point as the highest positions of the member. As long as you are able to locate the exact positions of the centroid of the parts and also the entire member. Next, you will need to multiply the value in this column with this column in order to produce the AY. That means this multiply this equals to this. The summations of AY will be equals to sigma AY. This and this two value can be used to determine the centroid of the member, which is sigma AY divided by sigma A. Next, you need to determine the second moment of inertia of the member. You have to calculate the second moment or inertia of each part of the member. The equations for the rectangular and triangles are here. The summations of all the second moment or inertia will be sigma i. Next, you need to determine the dy for each part of the members. Dy is actually the distance between the centroid of the parts and the centroid of the member, as given in the formula here. Then you need to compute the a dy square. It is obtained by multiplying the column here with the square of dy column here, which means this value is to be multiplied with dy here in square which form the a dy square here. The summations of a dy square will be the sigma a dy square which is this. The summations of the value here and here will be the second moment of inertia of the entire section. Next, you need to use the centroid and the second moment of inertia for you to determine the section modulus. The equation is given here, which is the second moment of inertia divided with the centroid. 
go back to the state of the design of the pre-stressing members in the case that you will need to propose your own sections there will be a stage of initial sizing which will give you a minimum section modulus of the top sections and the bottom sections the section modulus calculator here will need to be compared with the minimum section modulus obtained from initial sizing if the section modulus calculator from the geometrical property is found to be less than the minimum requirement, it is likely that the member will fail the stress limit. You do not need to proceed with the further calculations, but to revise the sections, so that the section modulus obtained here will be greater than this.